Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for our lovely Aries for the week. Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Aries. Oh my goodness, I've got a few cards, but they turn over for a reason. Patience. Not always easy. Going forward. So something is going to go forward. Miracles. This is blessings, really. And we have power. All right, Aries, I'm going to pull you an angel message. What do we have for our lovely Aries? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the week. Message for Aries. I've got miracles again. Miracles out of mistakes. Use your mistakes to inspire and empower you to face brighter days ahead. All right. Aries, let's see what we have for you. Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you for the week. <clears throat> Message for Aries for the week. Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, <clears throat> Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, Page of Wands, nice. And we have the Three of Cups. I feel that you're in a, I mean, this energy of patience here, I mean, I feel that you're, um, it's interesting, the initial message that I was getting was more career related, but we will look at other messages as well that I'm getting here. The, the two of pentacles can be, sometimes when we uh, are adapting and responding to our situation, but you're a little bit kind of in between at the moment, in between moving from one to another. Uh, and this is the energy here. I mean, sometimes with the Two of Pentacles, we also kind of feeling like we've got a lot on our plate as well. But I'm feeling in this energy here, Aries, it just feels like you're, you're kind of in between. It can't be making decisions and choices between two paths, two people, two options, two situations. But I'm feeling more that you're just kind of like in the process of... Um, adapting, manoeuvring a situation in some way this week. You might be, even potentially waiting on some kind of decision as well. Because the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups, you know, this feels like, the initial message that I was getting was, your home, your family, your relationship, even wider family, walk away from that place. Do what you need to do to walk away from that place because it's not healthy for you. It's not good for you. It's not serving you. This can be the energy here. And it might well be here, Aries, that um, you have an opportunity to walk away. I mean, you might well have even already, already walked away here. But I feel that this is the energy here of... They were kind of saying, you need to walk away because, honestly, that place is no good for you. Now, the Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords, 
the five of wands can be an energy of conflict we feel always in a battle we always feel like we're in an environment or a situation where um everybody's in it for themselves and it's not this is not a cohesive team this is quite the opposite this is that fragmented energy where everybody wants to win where everybody wants to get ahead where everybody cares about themselves you know pushes themselves will do whatever it takes to step over anybody you know to get ahead so this is the energy here with the five of wands there's conflict drama could even have been some kind of fallout or argument in some way as well aries um in your current circumstances because you constantly feel like you're always in some kind of drama or conflict or in a a working environment this would be everybody's in it for themselves and it's fragmented you don't feel like it's a nice team uh that would be the energy here the the seven of swords now this on the one hand there could be reasons why you're choosing to walk away but you might be waiting to move from a to b if that's the case uh, i feel that you're ready to walk away here but you're just waiting to move from get yourself set up in terms of what you're moving towards the the couple of things that i'm getting here with the seven of swords on the one hand this can be a very deceptive energy uh in a negative way this can be someone going behind your back subversive energy uh someone deceiving you in some way um yeah i mean undermining you kind of get what i'm saying so there could have been some kind of conflict on that basis if this was the thing that you were dealing with because everybody wants to get ahead everybody wants to win you know and this is they'll do what it takes and uh, it's it's it, that this can be a very kind of like um subversive energy certainly in a, a kind of workplace or in a team of some kind now this can also be here aries you're deciding to set things in motion quietly because you're not happy with your current place of work and again it might well be even those people who uh, like i said family you didn't listen to them before it might well be you were kind of like saying no it's fine i'm just going to keep on going it will pass but it never did this might well be that you're deciding to listen to those people that um had your best interests at heart again it could be this 10 of cups energy your family or relationship and decide to quietly go and pursue another job so this is the energy that i'm seeing here it does look that there is uh something opening up for you if that's the case the page of wands can be very good in terms of good news can be with what the page of wands holds opportunity new job new business opportunity initiative projects even starting something new as well but we have the queen of swords with that so i feel that you will be hearing from a queen of swords energy um if it's a person this is somebody who uh maybe somebody in authority can be a leader somebody who might be bringing you communication there's a kind of balanced energy with the queen of swords or she brings a great sense of balance um through advice through perspective through truth you know but that will be that there's a sense of whatever this person's bringing into you is bringing that sense of balance back um so this can be a very positive energy as your energy you're in that kind of seat where you're deciding whether to cut cords or not with your current situation i feel this is a scenario here where with the 3 of cups there's this is celebration with uh, with kinship with friends family people who care about you i there's just a strong sense here of of cut cords um those people are not your friends you know <laughs> it's all this kind of scenario this could even be with a friendship could even be with a friendship group as well uh, yes the additional meaning can be somebody is walking away from the 10 of cups home family relationship because of some kind of deception and fallout 
And again, this would be the energy here where uh, someone is deciding fully whether to truly cut cords. I mean, it might well be that there's truth or you're getting to the truth of the matter on whether you want to fully cut cords or not in terms of how you move forward. Uh, again, starting on a brand new path. Maybe, again, being supported by those people who who will, you know, huddle around you, come together with you. So that could be kinship, uh, like I said, friends, family, to help you make some kind of clear decision. I feel this is all about whether you choose to walk away from a situation or not. Uh, or if you've already decided to walk away from a situation here, Aries, the energy would be you're just waiting to set yourself up in terms of how you're moving forward and also considering the practical side of things home, property, money, uh, what you need to do, how, what you need to get organised before you do, maybe even secretly decide to walk away. So that's the energy that I'm seeing here. It feels, it feels you're just at that kind of in-between stage this week, but you are, it does look like in the near future you're going to come to some kind of decision. There's a new beginning opening up for you, job, business opportunity, initiative, projects, even starting something new on your own, or for those of you uh, choosing to, to move through a new door because you're not happy with a conflict, a level of deception, and so on and so forth. Um, so this is def definitely the energy here of you're recognizing your own power to master this situation. There are blessings. Miracles out of mistakes, this just feels like Sometimes we realise what's not working for us, so we can go in search of greater happiness and fulfilment. The Eight of Cups always walks towards the Nine of Cups. That's what's missing here. I've got a Ten and I've got an Eight. But in whatever life area, the message applies. All right, what do we have for our lovely Aries? Thank you. For some of you, this could also be, like I said, a friendship circle. Uh, because again, this is friends that really support you, friends that you feel like you're at oneness with. This is this is a friendship group that there's always drama, there's always conflict, there's always uh, backbiting, there's always um, <clears throat> talking behind people's backs, you know? That would be the energy here too. And you're just, I feel that you're done with it. You want to be in truth. This is somebody in truth. The message remains the same. Okay, Aries, let's pull you a final message. Magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. Well, there's something about wanting that beauty. You want that harmony. You want that balance. And I see in the near future making clear decisions or someone bringing communication into you to restore that sense of harmony and balance. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.